Arab Chaldeon, everybody. Welcome back to my daily Euskera practice. If you've been following my videos recently, you may have noticed I missed an upload yesterday um, because, well, also, if you've been following me on Instagram, you may already know. My dad has been spending this lockdown doing a lot of projects around my place and uh, he's been doing it all on his own. I'm just letting him free reign because when the two of us get together, sometimes it's not a good situation. But um, there was a painting job that needed to be done up on my roof. There's like a little dormer window uh, that was like all dry rotted and really gross. So Aita made everything look amazing, like on the ground level. And so I, I volunteered. I was like, okay, we need to do something about this roof situation. So I've been spending the last few days kind of working on that with him. And it was just, it took a lot longer yesterday than I expected it to. So it's done now though. So my painting career is over very swiftly after it began and he's back to working on his own. So it all worked out, but you know, he's, he's getting older and like, he's still, he's real spry. Okay. I, I've learned that when I tell him he can't do something, like he proves me wrong. Um, but this time I, I tried to take a gentler approach and I was just like, maybe you shouldn't be on a roof. Like I know, you know, you know, we want to keep the, the little guy around. <laughs> for a little longer um because it was pretty steep roof and like even i was nervous on there so anyway i've been busy with that um and i haven't i've been working with my dad but we haven't really been talking to each other much because i've been on the roof so i didn't even have a chance to like practice esquara with him so anyway i'm a little behind on my studies so i'm getting back to it today what are we working on we're still working on verbs, always verbs. We're still practicing a present tense conjugation, talking about habits or things you do regularly. And today's exercise is really chill. It's, it's a paragraph reading exercise. We've got a word bank of verbs that we have to input into the blanks. So hopefully this will be okay because I've been doing a lot of reading exercises lately and I feel like my comprehension is slowly improving. So. Let's get into it. The words we are working with today, we got baskaltsen, which is uh, eating breakfast. No, lunch, eating lunch. Eramaten, which is, eraman is to, to carry. Yeah, I think, yeah, to carry or to bring, something like that. Um, bukatsen, I think I just learned this week in another exercise that that means to finish something or to end. Hartsen, oh, why, why does this always escape me? Let me just type in el huar real quick just to double check. Hartsen, to take, to grab, to seize. Oh, now I remember in, a, in another exercise I had Hartsen used with like taking a car and like I didn't understand that that meant like like just using a car as mode of transportation I translated it as getting a car which I interpreted as buying but you guys mentioned in the comments like no when we're talking Hartsen taking like you can take a car okay Egiten to do and yuaten to go. So those are pretty standard. I've seen those verbs a lot in my studies. So let's go. We are learning about Leire today. She is a housewife, I think. Leire Echeko Andrea da. Next, Lan Ashko Blank Du Echean. So she's got a lot of work to do at the house. So do is our auxiliary verb here. So now we gotta pick our main verb. So what are we gonna say if she has work to do? I'm guessing that's Eggy ten because that literally means to do She's not taking work. She's not finishing work. She's not eating lunch work <laughs> Okay, go sean so early I think or in the morning so hashten da Hashten something about at eight o'clock in the morning Eta gawean, so she does hashten. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look this up because it bothers me. I see this word all the time. Why do I not know what it means? 
Beginning. Oh, so it's the opposite of Bukatu, I guess we could say. Maybe. Okay, so she starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a gawean in the evening or at night. Hamaretan blank du. Ah, so it is the opposite of yes, finish, because I think we're going to use Bukatsen here. So Hamaretan at 10 o'clock at night, she finishes? No. What? I'm like, what kind of a housewife works that many hours a day? But I guess that is the life of a housewife, right? Or, or a housekeeper? Am I interpreting this wrong? Anyway, if you work from home, yes, yes, the work never ends. Um, I've been fun employed, shall we say, <laughs> during this lockdown. And I feel like all I do is laundry and cooking and cleaning. And like, I'm just one person. So I can't imagine the life. So I'm going to say... Hamaretan bukatsen du. Okay, gaweko hamaretan osho nekatuta egoten da. Well, of course, at 10 o'clock at night, yeah, she's very tired because she's been working all day. Goisean bederatsietan haurak eskolara blank ditu. Okay, that makes sense. She's got kids. It's exhausting. So, um, early in the morning at bedera, so nine, at 9 o'clock, bederatsietan, uh, the kids go to school or does she she must bring them to school right because we're talking about her and the kids aren't just going to take themselves right so would it be eramaten is that the verb for bring here yeah i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna go with that eramaten ditu all right ghetto then echeko lanak egiten ditu so then she, she does, oh, I was going to say homework, because I know Echekolana, like in the context of my bass class, like that's what we call our homework. But I'm guessing here it means like housework, like, like chores, because she's already dropped the kids off at school, so she's not going to be like doing homework, right? Okay, so, okay, she does housework after that. Hamaiketan lagunekin kafea blank do. Oh, how nice. At 11, she has coffee with, oh, I was going to say a friend, but lagunekin, is that friends? Lagunarekin would be friend? I, I still have struggles with the distinctions with these suffixes, but anyway, she has coffee at 11 o'clock in the morning. So what would be the verb to like have a coffee? I think in Basque it would be... To take, I think it's like in uh, in Spanish and, and in French, you take a coffee. So I'm going to say café hartzen du. For that one, eta erosketak egiten ditu. And then she does the shopping. Her shopping, okay. It's a good routine she's got going. I like the coffee break with friends. Hamabiak eta laurderetan hauren bila blank da eta gero blank du. Okay, whoa, here we go. Okay, so we're talking about Hamabiak. We're talking about at 12.15, I think. Um, something about the kids. Bila, I don't know bila, but I'm guessing it's like the kids come home for lunch. We have a verb here for having lunch, so I don't know. Um, let me look up bila on El Huar. Just so I really know what we're talking about here. Because I got two verbs to fill out, so I want to be sure. Bila. In search of looking for. Okay. Hauren. Okay. Haura is the kid. Hauren. What is, what is that? Suffix. Or is it a different word entirely and I'm confused? Let me see if Eluad can help me out with that. Probably not. It's probably with how as kids. Mm, Google Translate? I highly doubt they'll have anything. Yeah, it just says children. Okay, so something about the children. Wait, what did I say Bila was? Wow, Woo! getting lost here. Um, they're searching for something? So does that mean she's searching for the kids? No. Okay, well I know we're gonna use Baskal Sen here 
for Itagero Bascalcendu, I think, because Bascalcen, I think, goes with do, whereas the other verb blank here is a da. So, Yuanda, I think, if we're just looking at auxiliary verbs, I think in my word bank of the words left over, Yuaten is the only one that actually goes with Isan and not Ukan. So are we trying to say that at 1215 she goes in search of the kids? Is Hauren of the kids or something to that effect? Um, I'm, I'm gonna say it's Hauren Bilat Yuatenda. Okay. And then now we're done with our verbs, so I, I must have done it right, or at least I think I did it right, because I've used all my word bank, and now we just have a conclusion to the story. So, Arachaldean ere lan ashko egiten du. So then, in the afternoon, she also has a lot of work to do. Um, and then we got a colon, so we're going to list it out. Aropa lishatu. Lishatu, I'm guessing, means clean, because Aropa I know is clothes, so maybe she's cleaning the clothes. Echa chukundu, oh, oh, this one, I want to look this one up, because this is a fun one. Chukundu, that's new to me. Chukundu, chukundu, yeah, El Huar says that's a word, let's find out. To tidy, to clean up, to order, to wash, to get dressed, to get ready. Okay, just... That's a fun one, chukundu. I'm sure I'll forget it by tomorrow, but I like that. Echea chukundu. And then, haurekin egon. Oh, I'm like, what does this make sense in this context? Egon, I thought it said to be kids, but no, haurekin. So she's like with the kids, to be with the kids. Afaria prestatu, she has to get dinner ready. And then, lan hao osho gogorada. Does that mean this work is really difficult? I think gogora means challenging or... Let me ask Elihuar just to make sure I understand this concluding sentence. Yeah, it says hard, hard working, difficult. Okay, so yeah, it's trying to say that, that this is difficult work. Oh yeah, of course, so if she's got kids. Yeah, of course she's working from first thing in the morning to right when she goes to bed. Like, well, they didn't say right when she goes to bed till 10 p.m. I don't know, hours are weird in the Basque Country. People probably go to bed later than I do. But um, yeah, okay, wow, huh, how nice. I got through a paragraph and I knew what it was saying. Like I looked up words just to like double check, just to like be sure, you know? Um, I think the only thing there that really messed me up was hauren bila, what was the word? Juatenda. But otherwise, hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this. At least when we're doing paragraphs where I have to understand words that I've seen a million times because a lot of my examples have to do with house vocabulary. If this paragraph was about current day affairs and politics in the Basque Country, I would not have understood any of it. So let's keep some perspective. Like this was fairly easy to understand because the vocabulary was pretty basic and went through a lot of the stuff that I've been practicing recently, telling times, the verbs, and so, yeah, that was good. Huh, it's not every day that I finish uh, exercises studying Ishkara, feeling good about it. I would leave it at that, but I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about saying something on the YouTube channel, not so much because like it comes up in the comments a lot, but it's something I think about. So I just wanted to share with you. You may have noticed if you've been following this channel that I say <laughs> the word that I use for the Basque language in Basque, like it changes. Like I'm sure if you speak Basque, you've definitely noticed. I say euskera, I say eshkwara, I say euskera sometimes comes out. Like I feel like I just say whatever comes out of my mouth. That's because my dad in his Basque, like my whole life, the name of the Basque language to me has been Eshkwara. That's how he says it. Like my mind was blown when I first read that it was spelled E-U-S-K because in my mind it was E-S-K-U because he says Eshkwara. Um, and so that's kind of my default setting. 
But with these videos, I'm very conscious that there's people on YouTube who like maybe would just click on a video really quick and watch like probably the first 30 seconds of whatever I said and then click out. Like, I mean, attention spans, like I understand we're all just surfing the internet looking for content and maybe my videos won't always resonate with people, that's fine. But I do try to make a conscious effort at the beginning of my videos to say euskera because I feel like that's the pronunciation of the Basque language that maybe people outside of the Basque country are more familiar with. Like if they know anything about um, the Basque language, they may have normally heard it as euskera and it's kind of like closer to the way it's spelled. And in my mind, it's closer to the way that people pronounce it in Batois. Like maybe it's not, but in my mind, I'm trying at least in the beginnings of my videos to like have more of a Batois pronunciations to things um, because I don't know why, but I'm trying to avoid somebody like clicking onto my video and like watching 30 seconds and then just be like, you pronounce the language wrong, you idiot. And then clicking out of my video and then me replying to the comment, but then they never come back. And like, I don't know why I care about these things, but I do. These are things that I think about when making content. So I just want to share that with you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Like, have you noticed that I pronounce things differently, especially like if I'm not thinking, like whatever comes out, comes out. Like, is it weird that I go through all these mental gymnastics? Can I, can I just relax and just keep calling it Ishkwara like I want to? But I feel like I can't relax because whenever I pronounce my H's, which is all the time, I do get people in my comments being like, the H is silent. And I have to go back and be like, not always. And it's just, it's just awkward, but also, very interesting to have these discussions with people about the distinctions of the Basque language. So anyway, those are my thoughts for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Hella Basque. You can see more pictures and videos of my dad. He pops up there a lot more often than on the YouTube channel here, although I do try to make videos with him now and again. If you have not already, please subscribe to the Hella Basque YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video. Quiero arte.